to another episode of Skyvies. In the last episode, we started our thriving bee metropolis. <laughs> we set down our first two main resource bees, our clay bees and our iron bees, which is absolutely huge for our mod pack progression. So how about in this episode, we dip our toes into Tinker's a construct, which we need in order to get our lava bee up and going. As you can see on our roster today, we have a new bee. We have our seared bee, which we're gonna need to make all these seared parts in order to get into Tinker's construct. And our reason for hopping into Tinker's construct is so that we can get our coal bee, which requires our lava bee. And in order for our coal bee to pollinate, we are going to need those lava honeycomb blocks. So we need to get our lava bee up and running with his pollinating block, which is a lava wood, which is lava poured over any kind of plank, which we can only do in Tinker's Construct, which is why I have two clay honeycomb blocks ready, which is the start of our seared bees block. But we're gonna need two seared bricks, so we have to make, start off making it the old fashioned way, which is with Groot. So we're gonna need sand, clay, and gravel. Sand and gravel are absolutely no problem, and honestly, neither is clay. Okay, honestly, it's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> it is a little bit of a problem. We're gonna get a, uh, a more automated centrifuge soon, but we need Batania for that. So let's go ahead and start off by making some Groot. We'll pop this in the furnace which isn't gonna do anything because I forgot we need a blast furnace. <laughs> so let's make a couple of smooth stone and make ourselves an extra furnace. Grab some of our iron, of which we have plenty now, and our three smooth stone, perfect. Now we're gonna plop this down right <laughs> right on top there. We can throw our Groot in here and for fuel, we can actually make our iron bucket finally and we can grab our infinite source of lava and fire it up and there we have it our first seared bricks now we're gonna take these craft these into two blocks and toss them in here and make our seared bee nectar block and to actually make the seared bee we're gonna need our sand bee there you are one of our clay bees and then we can get ourselves no come back <laughs> A seared bee! Oh, hey little guy. We're gonna put our little seared bee in the incubator to uh to grow up. And by then, we'll have a house built for him. So let's grab this. And there we go. I'm not gonna set this one up with uh with three in a row and all that. And it's just a tier one beehive because um this is it's just gonna be a temporary home for him. We're not gonna need the seared bee forever oh right on time there you are little buddy all grown up we're not gonna need this bee constantly producing forever we're probably gonna end up putting him in that apiary over there um but for now unless we want it for a building block which i mean the seared block is pretty neat as a building block but for now we're just gonna give him a quick little setup and while that bee does his thing i'm making up some extra terracotta so that we can make our hopper botany pot that way not only can we get our grass automated in order to upgrade our beehives we can also get our trees automated as well though very very slowly let's make two of these and of course a couple of drawers and let's put these for now just temporarily right here <laughs> next to our bone meal just gonna grab some dirt now i know in sun mods you can hoe the dirt first and then put it in but it doesn't seem like you can do that in this mod so we're just gonna put some dirt in we're gonna grab some grass and a sapling I know how to use hopper botany pots. Grass? Hello? Does this need to be a grass block? I don't remember. Oh, it does need to be a grass block. Okay, let's make a grass block real quick. We can make it with our thermal jars. Drop that in, press go. And there we go, now we have a grass block. Now we can go grow grass. Perfect. 
So I think for the keys you need gold. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. What is our gold beanie again? A copper and cobble and we need, yep. So we'll need to get into all our metal bees so that we can do that. Actually, we probably should start doing that. Let's grab some iron and some cobblestone. Grab our cobblestone bee and an iron bee. Set these guys out here and Boop snoots. <gasps> we have a nickel bee. Hello, nickel bee. <laughs> I'll set him in the incubator and he can start to grow up. Something I love about this bees mod is that it definitely encourages you to multitask. <laughs> like getting the metal bees ready while we're working on Tinker's construct so that we can start on Batania so that while that's going, we should use hopper pots and like, <laughs> It's great. It keeps the old mind turning. <laughs> and let's check on our seared bee. Very nice. And another nickel bee. Hey! Oh my gosh, look at those pretty little blue eyes. Aww. No, no, come here. Good. And of course, we're gonna need the nickel bee's nectar block. So. There we go. And I thought while I was at it, I'd go ahead and make another hopper botany pot for wheat. And I also made an extra cobblestone bee because they are actually, <laughs> we actually need a lot of them for all the metal bees. So I figured we'd get two going. I made a couple more tier two beehives while I was waiting. And while I was at it, I decided to upgrade these to tier three. So I gave the iron bees an upgrade. Oh my goodness, this is terrifying. <laughs> you can actually hear the other bees nearby are very, very angry. Where are they? Are they in here? They want to sting me so badly. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know which, oh, they're up here. Oh yeah, there they are, they were up in the roof. They get so mad when you break other beehives, so you do have to be careful. All right, but, but once everyone's calmed down, we can just plop these guys down. And everyone's good. Everyone's safe. <laughs> ah! No! Oh no, they're still mad. They're still mad. Ah! Ah! Uh, yeah, you can't grab them when they're mad. Ah! Pep. Oh, I thought you'd be chill. I thought we were chill. Oh goodness. We were not, in fact, chill. I don't understand what happened. Their eyes weren't red anymore. <laughs> Why? Okay, that's okay. That's okay. We're good. All right. All y'all go back in here and we're good. And in the middle of that chaos, <laughs> our nickel bee has grown up, which is fantastic. Oh, wait, what do you think you're doing? Get back in there. There we go. I tell you what, beekeeping is dangerous work. Also, I worked up an appetite. So let's try the seared honeycomb. Oh, look at that. There we go. We got two more hearts. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? Nice. So how about we set our seared bee up with some roommates just like that. Aw, they're doing a little spin together. And we will leave them to do their thing. Oh, and there's the other roomie. Come here, buddy. Oh, I love their little blue eyes. Okay. <laughs> they're so cute. There you are. And these guys are ready. There we go. We got some nickel and some seared honeycomb. Working two bees with one beehive. And we don't have too much more room in this chest. But instead of just making a double chest, now that we have some iron, we can actually make one of these wood to iron chest upgrades from iron chests. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Instantly a ton more room. Though my favorite I think has to be the compact chests because these can actually be much bigger. So for now on, when we need a chest somewhere, I'm gonna make a compact chest to start. But for something we already have sitting here, uh, the iron upgrades are definitely a nice way to go. And after a bit more shearing, a lot more shearing, and plenty more cranking, we have just enough seared bricks, I believe, to get started in Tinkers. And actually, just before we jump into that, let's get our copper bee going. <gasps> there he is! Wow, he's so vibrant. I love him. Oh, he's got nickel bee's blue eyes. That's too cute. Off to the incubator with you. And another copper bee. And I got you. 
Nope. Ah, gotcha. Our copper bee is all grown up. Oh, oh, hi. Where, where do you think you're going? <laughs> and in the meanwhile, as you can probably tell, I have been harvesting a lot of honeycomb, which means we are ready to make these nectar blocks and house our copper bees. And just like that, we have our first copper honeycomb. So with these seared bricks and some glass, we should be able to make everything we need. We'll start with the fuel tank and the heater, the melter. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we need the uh, gauge and then the melter, the casting table, the casting basin, and hopefully we have enough bricks to build the actual smeltery. I, I can't remember how many you need. Here, we'll just, we'll just make a little extra. I forgot to do this, but we'll make a little extra group so we can upgrade our book, I think. Isn't that how this works? <laughs> oh, we, we, we need a regular book, which we don't have because we don't have sugar cane. <laughs> okay, I thought you just, I thought you just upgraded this one. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. That's all right. We're just going to build. <laughs> We're just going to build out here and hopefully by then it'll just, it'll come to me and I'll remember how to build it. <laughs> That's how these things work. You're just gonna, <laughs> it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so <laughs> I almost forgot the, the faucet, but we have all the parts. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me see something. Let me see something. Let's go, <laughs> let's go to Tinkers. And do you show me how to set it up? No. Okay, anyway, this is our little industrial area. I thought it would be safest if we made it out of stone and it would make sense. It would fit the vibe. I did like a little you know, random pattern with the bricks and the stone, a classic. This is also all the materials we really have access to. So this is what we're gonna work with. <laughs> um, I think, I. Th I kind of want to pop this down smack in the middle, but we're going to have to move it later if I do that. So let's put it, let's put it over here for now. I'm pretty sure you put down the heater um, to heat the melter. And then I think just for the first go around, it's just like this. Like this is, yes, this is the basic one. Okay. And in, it's in this that we can actually upgrade everything, right? Because we need to actually get... Yes, because we need to get the, like the rest of the smeltery stuff. Yeah, so this is molten copper, which is why we needed that copper bee all set up. So we take a little nap, get some copper. I've got some copper. I think we put it in here. Uh, we need something in the heater. Let's grab some coal. When we upgrade to the smelter, we will be able to use our lava. I've got four ingots in here. I'm pretty sure cheesy way we can do this. Well, it's not cheesy. It's just conservative. <laughs> Is we grab it, we put it in there. Yes, and we can, we can still use the one we already have. It gets all toasty. There we go. Now we have the controller. We can actually take this down and rebuild it into a proper smeltery. So we set down, I think it's a three by three. And then we put our smeltery here and I'm gonna use some edge blocks <laughs> to help me out a little bit here. And we go boop, 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 boop. Oh no, we're not gonna have enough bricks. A few seared brick honeycombs later and we should be able to Finish it off. There we go, the mighty smeltery. So now we can replace one of these walls with our fuel tank. And after crafting up a drain, I think we can put that right there. And we can still put our faucets like so. Put our, nope, put our table here, basin right there. This looks like it should be operational. I'm gonna make a couple of extra buckets and grab a little bit of lava, put these in there. I think I can put, yes, that in there. We can grab our plank, put it in there, tap that, and lava wood. This is what our lava bee has been needing. So, where, where'd I put him? There he is. Let's grab him, get ready, boop. 
Oh, he looks so cool. And I think we're gonna replace our water bee for a little bit because we don't really need water honeycomb right now. He doing a spin. He loves it. And there he goes. And once we have some honeycomb from him, that's when we'll be able to get our coal bee set up. Side note though, I do have a lot of honey now and nowhere to keep it. <laughs> so I've already filled up both these jars. So I, I'm just gonna make a singularity tank. This holds a lot more than, uh, than the jars do here and it can hook right up to this system. So I'm gonna place it right here and we can just add the honey directly into here. Now, pretty soon we'll be able to get a congealer I, I think is what it's called. And that automatically, when we use the automatic centrifuge, will actually compact the honey into honey blocks for us. So we won't have to do this for very long, but I do love these singularity tanks. I think I'm actually gonna make another one and hook it up to the lava jar. There we go, all hooked up. This should fill with lava as well, which is important for us to have a lot of lava because that is now how we're gonna be fueling our smelter. I'd like to give a great big thank you to all our Cookie Crew members, to Danish for being a part of the Cookie Club, and also a thanks to Gimli, Anonymous, and Felms for being a part of the Cookie Click. Your guys' support means so much to this channel. As a matter of fact, thanks to all of you, I've actually been able to finally upgrade my video editing software. So my editing can be a lot more efficient, a lot less frustrating, and um, hopefully better once I, once I get used to this program. So I am, I'm so grateful to you guys and I hope you uh, enjoy the better quality and uh, maybe, hopefully, the, the better quantity <laughs> coming soon. So shout out to all of you. You guys are genuinely improving this channel. And I can't wait to continue making improved content for you guys. And with that, my name's Evett. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more shenanigans. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Bye. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs>